Hello all, welcome to rotanews.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we schedule a BIP job, not an ESS job, just a BIP report and a BIP job. So sometimes, like uh, assume that like if at all, if you have a BIP report, which is not registered as a ESS job, but you still generally like in some of the projects, they still prefer to run the BIP report from the BIP window or a BIP page directly rather than going to ESS job. So if at all, if your report is very complicated, and let us say if your report queries are so complicated, or maybe if the data is huge, and there are chances your report may not execute within a stipulated amount of time, or it may have a huge data which due to which like it will error out or time out kind of thing. This is one of the scenario where you generally come across this issue. In these kind of scenarios, what you have to do is you have to schedule the BIP job. Like just running the BIP report will definitely will not work. You have to schedule the jobs. You have to schedule the BIP report. So how do we do it? Let us see that. You have to navigate your report instance, like a slash XMLP server will not work. You have to navigate slash analytics, select the report, and you just need to click on select, click on more and click on schedule. And then like what will happen is it will ask you to mention what is your gen like uh, you'll have some set of settings in the general. You have to select your report. I mean, automatically the data model will be selected out in the general tab. And then you just click on output and you select what kind of output format you want to have it. And then you go to schedule, mention whether you want to run it or now, or maybe whether you want to perform a particular sequence or whether you can mention like at what point of time you want to run it, select that. And then you can click on submit. Once you click on submit, it will ask you to mention the job name. You just mention the job name and click on okay. And automatically it will says like your particular report job like submitted successfully and then You'll see an ESS job. You'll see a, like a, a job name with the ESS VIP job will get kicked off from your ESS job window. Of course, this will not have any output, but internally it will run this particular job, and and you just wait for a couple of minutes or sec, like a, of definitely minutes, and then you have to navigate to the history. Nothing but you have to go to your VIP job again. Click on the history, and click on more and click on history, and it will show this particular window where you just click on search and find out what's your job name and check the status. And maybe after some time, it, the status may be succeeded or errored out. Just click on like a, one, if at all, if it is succeed, if it has succeeded, click on this particular report job name, and then you can find the appropriate output. So let us see that particular same functionality from our instance. So let us say I'll navigate to the analytics, I click on catalog. One, right? Yes, navigating. OK. So what we do, click on more, click on schedule. And the report name, like a report name will get selected automatically. If at all, if it is not getting selected, then you know, like you cannot proceed further. Click on output. If at all, if you have, if you have any parameter, you can mention the parameter. And then click on output. Then select the appropriate output format type. Then click on schedule. And if you don't want to change any of this particular information, like if at all, if you want to run the job now, let us go with the run now. Click on submit. And you can mention the job name. Let us I'll mention the job name as like a GL, general details job three. And here, if you observe, let us say, I'll just click on refresh right now. So the latest job is ending with 966. And now I'll just run the job. Let's see what happens now. So the job got submitted and you can just go to the monitor processes and you can see that you should be able to say new job after 966. Right now 996 is running. Okay, so this is our job. Click on OK. Now, how do we monitor or how do we know the status of this particular job? We just click on catalog. And again, you have to click on the job, click on more. Click on job, click on more, and click on history. And just click on search. Make like a note down your job name. Yes, this is your job name. Select the job name. And it shows the output here. You select the output. And that's it. So we got the output. So this is how we can run a, a job by scheduling that in a BIP itself. Okay. Thank you.